in to Hachanda to join us, you'll see that mine and Bev's style are totally different. But what that does is it brings you lots of styles and techniques that you can include in your crafting too. Our ranges are increasing all the time with the lovely hand-drawn images that Sam and myself are trying to bring to you, plus the fantastic new designs that we like to bring in the Inkables, in the Dinkables and the MDF as well. So you can use them across all different sorts of crafts and bring the best we can to a Chanda too. So make sure you don't miss the Bee Crafty Shows on, on Hachanda. Hi, I'm Hayley. Join me for some amazing Fabric Freedom shows. Fabric Freedom design all their fabrics here in the UK and they design them with quilters in mind. So they're really good at picking out those unidirectional prints. Really nice and small prints so you can work on smaller patchwork projects and paste prints as well, which is one of their signature fabrics. They do lots more fabrics besides quilting cottons. So tune in to the Fabric Freedom shows here on Hachanda. Hochanda will be supporting Stamparama, an incredible art, stamp and paper craft show. And we would like to invite you to come along and meet us on Sunday the 3rd of May. Stamparama brings together the UK's most dedicated and gifted craft experts, all available to inspire you with their knowledge and expertise. You'll find us in Hall 2 at the Yorkshire Event Centre, located within the great Yorkshire showground, Harrogate. Advanced ticket holders receive an early show entry from 9.30am, allowing you extra time to browse before the show opens at 10am. There'll be free demonstrations, make and takes, and also a refreshment area where you can take the weight off your feet after all that shopping. Tickets are available from Hochander in advance for only £3 each. So what are you waiting for? Treat yourself to a fantastic, crafty day out. Order your tickets today from Hochanda.com. Hello, a very good evening to you. How are you, Miss the Dancer? You weren't dancing with Melissa. I wasn't. No. Why? Oh, and maybe I'm tired too. <laughs> <laughs> She's going to be going, what are you doing? That was that music. <laughs> anyway, Lisa's here. I'm here. We haven't worked together before. It's going to be lovely though. I sense it. I Definitely. do sense it already. Definitely. And we've got a fantastic hobby art show for you with some brand new items designed by this lovely lady herself. <laughs> uh, we have got um, some great uh, stamps for you you and we've got returning items we've got robots I mean that what more what more could you possibly want exactly. bees? bees we've got bees as we've well bees. Uh, so it's going to be absolutely fantastic now just to remind you of your um, freedom members event that's happening at the moment which is fantastic if you spend 40 pounds which you could do in this show by adding up your basket um, if you spend 40 pounds if you are a member already of our fantastic club you will get six pounds and 97 off your purchase wow. nice mm -hmm. uh, if you're not a member what will happen is that we will give you a month's membership uh, for that £40 spend and then you will be able to test it out for yourself and wow. see if there's any yeah, Great lower bargain. prices that you want and free package and posting as well. So that is happening until Monday night. Just remember that you have to quote, what is it? Freedom, Freedom Frenzy. Yeah, that's the name of the event. That's handy. Freedom Frenzy. I keep calling it Freedom Fenzy because we're in the Fens, but yeah. it's not the Frenzy. Okay. Not the Fonzie, because that's right. happy days. <laughs> it is. Anyway, right, should we crack on? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> the producer went, yes. <laughs> Get on with it. <laughs> right, let's begin here then. So, a brand new collection mm -hmm. designed by you. Is, yeah. Robots. Yeah. I love it. When do you get to see little robots on cards? Mm -hmm. Not very often. And these are so well designed. Thank you. They're Thank really you. cute. They're really great fun, actually. I've really enjoyed designing these. So, uh, we previously bought on... Um, a Jenny previously brought on the monsters, which yes. is the one that I did before, and I like to design sets that work together. Mm. So monsters and robots can work yeah, together. Work together. So yeah. yeah, but these are really, really good bit of fun. I love that. I'm botty about oh, you. Yes. <laughs> Is that right? Botty? Yeah, Botty. as in yeah, robot. Botty. Yeah. It's nuts and bots. Yes. Becky wanted to call it nuts and bolts, and I said cool bots, so we yeah. come up with nuts and bots. Yeah, 
Why Do not? Why not indeed? I love that you've got girls on there as yeah. well. Oh, of course. Uh, and yeah, the rule. Can't leave the girls out. Girls yeah. rule. That's uh -huh. a great, uh, great thing. Uh, yeah, I, 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 and you know as well, what's amazing about looking at stamp set is how many you've packed on there. Yeah, there's there not is, a little bit of space. I think this 25. might be a record. Yeah, I think this one might be a record. Yeah. We've got so many bits and pieces on there. Yeah. But the design team have just been amazing. Should we have some yeah, samples yeah, yeah. because they're we've, so uh, beautiful? Shall I help? Yeah, we've, okay. honestly, they have really wow. pulled out all the stops. We have oh, got my some amazing Samples. That so, is, look at that. Yeah, that's our Sally. Beautiful, isn't it? That Gorgeous is incredible. In and this is actually Martina. Now, Martina is a new addition to okay. our design team. Right. So, Martina Tibble, she's a friend of mine, she's a brilliant crafter, so that's one of hers. Well, she's done a very good job she there. Has, I yeah. was drawn to these when I walked in, wasn't I? I said to you, you was, they're yeah. right up my street, yeah, these. Yeah. Right up my street. It's yeah. that sort of precision detail. Yep. Um, mm -hmm. The fun aspect of them, they're really quite contemporary. They are. You can take it all different ways, as you can see with it. I mean, look at this one. This is our yeah. Marianne. She's, a, she's our fussy cutter um, and she does brilliant beautiful backgrounds but then also those lovely intricate cutting so yeah. this is another one of Martina's and I love that program to party and then she's done bunting out of the, yeah. the spanners and the I mean, you know, brilliant. screws absolutely brilliant. Absolutely, brilliant. absolutely brilliant yeah you can, and the thing is you can have such fun with these little robots definitely. can't you yeah definitely they, they really, really go to town with them no. yeah just beautiful beautiful samples yeah Fantastic. Yeah, these are lovely. Oh, look at the next one. Oh, my goodness me. Yeah, dimension. If you want dimension. Yes. And even more. Look at this one. Oh, my. That's amazing. Yeah, if you want to bring them into mixed media as well and really wow. bring some dimension out there. It's beautiful, isn't it? That is incredible. Absolutely beautiful. And you've had all those brights now. You've got all the, the mm. sort of grungy look to them, mm. you know, industrial look. Yeah. So they very, really are very fabulous. Good. Well, there you go. That's what you could be making. You don't often see robots. These are brand new today. They're only fourteen ninety nine, by the way, designed by Lisa. So that is nine five eight three five four. Let's move on to our next one, also designed by Lisa as well. They work hand in hand. They do. Together, yeah, they? yeah. We've um, we've started doing quite a few minis now, um, mm. and they they really are quite popular. Uh, and we come up with this idea and we thought it'd be great to have one that worked with the robot set mm. and then one that could work with it but also work alone as well. Yes. So um, we haven't had these too long, hence we've not got as many samples. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, they really work great with them, really yeah. do. Yeah. Um, so well, let's have a look then at um, some of the samples there that you've got because uh, they are too so good to be missed. With this one, what I've actually done is I've cut the bits off the robot mm. and then put springs on because we've got some assembly required. Right. So he's, he's going a little bit crazy there. Yeah, he is going crazy. Crazy bot. Yeah. Yeah, gear up for a great birthday yeah. like that. So again, this is uh, this is also using one of the brand new stencils which you're going to see in a little while. Mm. So this is the tire tread stencil on it as well which works brilliantly with them. Okay, excellent. And we've also got the brick wall stencil as well, yeah. um, and the mixed media ones. They also work brilliant with them, so it's a real good, you know, all in. Yeah, a good mix. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, well, they are fabulous. So four three seven one zero eight your item number if you would like to get twenty two stamps in total. Again, that's a lot for your money. Twelve pounds and forty nine pence is what you will pay. Lovely. Let's move along. Um, so the. Bees, are these new? I forget. Yes, these yes, are brand new. They are. So um, we've got the bees and we've also got the foliage that goes with it. Now, I've got to say, these work alone on their own. Mm. They also work with the next item that we've got, which is flowers, but the design team have done amazing Amazingly with these. again. Even with mixed media and everything else. Yeah. Oh, well, let's just have a couple of cards and then yeah. we'll pick up those things there because sure. they are interesting. But yeah, look at this. I mean, You've got, it's an amazing design team. That we are so, are. so lucky. Honestly, all the girls work so hard. Yeah. They really do. Yeah, brilliant. So, uh, this one's got a little, um, I've done this one with a little wobbler. Yeah, oh no! That's a little wobble bee. But it's just like that glitter and the colouring and yeah, everything. Yeah, we've got the pens in the show, so I'll, yeah. I'll be showing those as well. So beautiful samples. Yeah, they're Absolutely fabulous. beautiful. Yeah, find beauty in oh. the small things. Yeah, these are lovely, aren't they? Fantastic, yeah. We've also got, I just want to show you this one. Yes, let's have a look at uh, yeah. this pile of things over here because they're so very interesting. Martina, who is our new DT member, Yes. her husband Dolly has just got into pyrography. Right. We say just got in, he hasn't been doing this long. Yeah. Look at the work. Yeah, that's this is done on wood isn't it? and it's on the back of it as well. Yeah. And it's just wow. beautiful. But the great thing is with our stamps, they work really well with pyrography mm. because they're, they're line art. Yes. So, and you can plan scenes with them, do all sorts of things. He's mm. done a lovely one with the donkey set. But it really works well with that. Yeah, so, yeah very um, good. You've got some more things there yep. as well. Yeah, that's our Beck. That's using, um, she's used the wall stencil there. Yeah. But I did just want to show you this. I mean, this is just yeah. 
if you want to take it into your soft craft, yes. this is done by Sally, look at can. those bees on there. She's, yeah. she's stamped them and she's hand embroidered them. Uh, it's just amazing. Yeah, we it are is. So lucky, I know. Fantastic designs. We are so, so lucky. Absolutely well, beautiful. 14 stamps there in total. Brand new. 227562 is your item number. £12.49 and pence if you'd like to get hold of those. Um, now, let's move on to our next collection now for you. Uh, this is a returning favourite. It is. Uh, so it's one of the ones that uh, people have liked. It's abstract flowers. Yes, it is. So why, what's the abstract? Um, it's because they're quite funky. So mm. you can make them very abstract abstract looking you can do abstract patterns with them um, so like the first one's quite a sort of funky looking card yes um, but you can also make them into normal as well that's another one of Martina's she yeah. just like a bit of sparkle there oh yeah beautiful cards again using stencils on the background but again if you want to then mask them off as well I think this one is Elaine oh so Elaine's done a bit of masking there and then she's laid it up. Look how beautiful that looks. And yeah. again, it's working with bees. Exactly, yeah. And the foliage sets. Yeah, these are so lovely. All, all of these working together. Yeah. You know, once again, like you say with the flowers, yes, because they, they're not, they're not. That's why they're abstract because they're not designed to look real. Yeah. Um, but they look fantastic. Exactly. They and are you a really can good make them real. You know. Um, yeah. I mean, look you know, at that going one. back to the bee one. You know, that just doesn't look abstract. It looks like a real. Yes. You know, a real flower there. Yeah. So it's a versatile set, and that's what I like about it. We can yeah. get so much out of it. Which is you what know. we want. Yeah. Value for money. Yeah, definitely. Well, 215141, your item number, £14.99, and pence. if you would like to get hold of that collection. Um, right, let's move on to our next one now. Um, and once again, a returning favourite. And uh, I love this with the docks. Oh, that's quackers. just fantastic. <laughs> yes, quackers. Uh, the quackers set. 15 stamps in total there. Let's have a look at these. I mean, you can have a lot of fun yeah, uh, with these cards, definitely. Definitely. And again, so different, you know. Yeah. They are just so, so different. With this one here, you can, if you pull the yeah. sides out, this is our Sally. Uh, amazing, look. isn't it? Yes. Absolutely amazing. Yeah, what did our producer just say there? Go, you go into a duck do. A duck do. What's a duck do? I'm waiting for a punchline oh, here. He went, <laughs> whack, whack. Oh, what God. A duck do? I was waiting for the punchline. <laughs> But again, going back to this, <laughs> look how simple. Just a really, really simple, yes. beautiful card. Exactly. You know, it doesn't have to be overly dock. complicated. No, that's yeah. right. Oh, yeah. That's but just brilliant. beautiful samples. Yeah. <laughs> that was actually, it's a shame you didn't hear his impression of a dog because for a second I thought there was one in the gallery. I mean, it's actually, <laughs> yes, yeah, very, it's very lifelike. You should put that down on your CV as your, yeah, skills. Mm. Fabulous. Yeah, it's beautiful, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, I do love just the straight illustration like yeah, that. Yeah. That's really good. As I good. say, the, the great thing is it's a versatile set again. You can make it as fussy as mm. you like mm. or you can just keep it yeah. simple. Keep it often simple. with men's cards, you don't know what to send them. But often no. men like countryside, they like going yeah. for walks, they, they'll go around, you know, like a... Yeah. Uh, we've got a place near us called Moat Park and it's a beautiful park yes. where you can go and feed the ducks. Yeah. And, you know, so it's hard sometimes for them. So yeah. something so simplistic. Something nature is yeah. nice, isn't it? Yeah, can't definitely. Can't nature. Yeah. Uh, okay, 323417 mm -hmm. is your item number if you would like to get hold of that. Let's move along because there is plenty more on the show for you. These are all returning favourites. We've got some beautiful flowers now for you. Again, uh, these are actually irises designed by Sharon Bennett. Again, nine stamps in total. What's nice about these as well is they're nice big uh, focal points. They are, yeah. yeah. And what's the lovely thing with Sharon's stamps is um, she often does scene stamps, so she always puts perspective mm. into them. So, you, you know, you can do them really funky. You know, you look at the middle one, that's Marianne. Yeah. But then you look at the, the blue iris, so simplistic. Yes. But fantastic yeah, for but sympathy. Exactly. You know, so many different occasions you can use them for. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But no, just absolutely beautiful. Yeah. They are lovely, aren't and they? And again, really simplistic. Yeah. Just look at that. Stunning. Yeah. Really lovely. And then this one is yeah. actually been done on vellum. And that's really Look pretty. Dainty. Yeah, yeah, and dainty, isn't it? You wouldn't it? think it's the same set, would you? No, you're not. You wouldn't. No. And then when you look at something like that, yeah. Yeah. This it's is much bolder. She's, she's in the Netherlands, and I, I just love her style. Mm. She's got an amazing style. Yeah. So. so clever what people do with these, yeah. isn't it? Every yeah. time you look at them and you go, wow, you know, where's the starting point? Where yeah. do they sort of think of these things? It's fantastic. And you see, like that one, if you, if, you, if you haven't got many ideas, all you need to do is that. Yep. A Single border stamp. around yeah. the stamp. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, lovely. Fantastic. So that is 477269 as an item number there for £10.99. Moving on. Mm -hmm. um, okay, 
stencils now for you. And which ones are new? These are new on the it end. It is, yeah. So the these ones are come back. Yeah, yeah. This is a new. returning one. Um, again, really, really popular choice. Mm. Um, I'm going to use the first one, uh, the brick one in the first demo. Yes. Um, and just show you the, the world's quickest brick wall, how to do it. Okay. So. <laughs> Brilliant. Uh, we don't need another brick in the wall. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see all these people going, what? That's too young to know what that song is. You see, you don't know, do you? Bless him. No. No. Just another brick clue, in the they? wall. Pink Floyd. <laughs> nah. Over that. Uh, okay, if you want to get hold... What? What did you say? If you want to get hold of those three stencils, um, then you can use those with your mixed media items. You can use them with pastes as well as your inks and things like that. Uh, and they are great with the, the brick wall. And the, the, you know, the, what you're going to get out of those is some great backgrounds. Yeah, like we, the, I mean, we use them a lot with all our, all yeah. our cards. So yeah. they're, they're brilliant for backgrounds. What's that called? Chevron. The Chevron one. Yep. You know, you could really play with that. Yeah, I've used that quite a bit with the robot, actually. Mm. That's worked really well with yes, that. Yes, that would yeah. work really well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then almost like that. That is like the soft surface of the moon in a way, doesn't it? It, it like does. A big moon yeah. Or it a biscuit. Also, we brought out another set, which was the blue spotted booby bird. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> I knew you was going to laugh, mm -hmm. and it also works really well with that. So if people have got that one, it's fantastic with that as well. Yes, brilliant. Well, that is your collection there. Three one zero six four five. That has a freedom price. Wow. Ten pounds and thirty nine pence. Every time we say that, I expect George Michael to. Um, <laughs> they have the track on freedom. We should have thought that. Major probably can't afford it. <laughs> Play him every time. Uh, right. Um, it's a freedom price. It's ten pounds and thirty nine pence, and it's free packaging and posting as well. So three one zero six four five is your item number. Just looking at my hair, looks a bit weird. Sorry. I just have a lie down. Not done it. Not sure shit. <laughs> it's one of them days. Nobody's interested in my hair. Let's have a look at these. Now these are brand new. <laughs> I'm sleep deprived. Right. These are brand new here today. Love that um, honeycomb. Yes. Beautiful, That's isn't it? Great. And Again, the big circles as well. Works in really well with the B set. Um, yeah. You've also got your tire one in there, which works in well with the robots. We've got a little yes. wheelie robot in there, yes. so it works really well with them. Yeah. And the Bocker one, the first one on there, I just use it all the time. Mm. It's it's brilliant, and I'm going to be using that in the second demo, actually. Yeah, oh, brilliant. Yeah. Well, if you want to get hold of those fabulous stencils, it is 444-312, pounds and 99 pence. Uh, so, yeah, now it's time for you to decide. Go to the website, hochannel.com, put things into your basket. If you spend 40 pounds, you will get a month's free membership uh, from our Freedom Frenzy uh, event. And if you are a Freedom, if you're a freedom members person already you will get 675 off your 40 pounds fantastic 697 oh, I can't get it right <laughs> you see personally i think it should be 675 okay. 697 is such a random number yeah, 675 it is, yeah. makes more sense to me <laughs> anyway uh, we're gonna have lots of fun playing with all of this but why don't we give you a little bit of inspiration while we just like me well while we just like meander down the counter <laughs> i just give in i give in you're gone, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We just realised that I actually mixed the lyrics, didn't I? I said, we don't need a brick in the wall. It wasn't. She really so we need don't need down. no education. It's just another brick in the wall. Mm. And I melted it together. You do. But you know what? I don't think they were watching the band I Pink Floyd. So. I don't think. I don't think we've got nothing to worry about. They're, they're, unless they're into the crafting, I don't know. But I think we'll, we'll get the name with it. Okay. okay. Pink Floyd, email in. Right, let's do <laughs> some crafting. Yes, with the I robots. think we need to. Okay, yeah, we're going to do this little one. So I'm just going to show you how to put together um, this little card here. With the boss. Okay, so you can see on here that we've used the uh, brick wall stencil, which is um, texture two, I believe. Yes. And then we've used the um, bots uh, stencil with it as well. So, okay. 
So I'm going to put that aside. So I'm going to show you when I said it's the quickest brick wall in history. It really is. If brick walls went up this quick, we'd be well happy. Um, so what I'm going to start with, first of all, is if you're, for instance, if you're going to put something on top of a brick wall, you need to know where to start. Yes. So what I tend to do is I tend to just hover my stamp above it and then I take a little black pen and I put a little dot where I need it to start. Mm. Okay, so I'm just gonna, I've just done that already. Then underneath bricks, what do we have? We have mortar, cement. I could okay. not think for a second there. <laughs> underneath bricks we I really have. don't expect you to, Rachel. No, no, sand. The way you're feeling. Water, <laughs> I don't know. Bodies, okay. I mean, so, I don't know. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take, I've got antique linen here and this is an oxide I'm using. So I'm just literally applying quite a lot of the um, oxide onto there and I'm going straight across. So really simple background. So you work back to front, okay? So you put in your, your mortar or your cement mm. first of all, okay? Then what I'm gonna do, I'm going over to tea dye and I'm just gonna ink up a bit of that. Now what you need to do is use the bottom of this part of the stencil, so it's the top of the wall, yeah. and just leave a fraction showing of the white. And the reason I do this, it's a bit OCD with me, um, but when you look at a brick wall, uh, the bricks and the mortar goes lower. Yes. Okay, so it's just to make it look a bit more realistic, really. So I'm just gonna take the tea dye, and I'm gonna pop my bricks going through. Now, without moving it, I'm just gonna take the other end of my smoothie and take a bit of the vintage photo, and then I'm just gonna dash, and really be random with this, okay? The more random you are, the better. Mm. Turn it over, don't apply it anymore, and then just softly sponge it through. I always call it kissing the card. So it literally is just, I'm not putting pressure, I'm just softly sponging it through. When we pull it off, oh, we've got a brick wall straight away. That looks so good. That's brilliant. That actually it? got a bit of a, oh yes, from yeah. the, uh, the, the gallery. gallery. Wow, yeah, we've impressed both of the them. gallery. Both of them. <laughs> okay, so They're really, really. <laughs> That's a good one. Really, really simple to do. And then what we're gonna do, we're gonna take the tumble glass and we're gonna add just a little bit of surround. So what I'm gonna do is just take it and add a bit of an edge to add a bit of sort of sky going on in the background. I don't want too much, very, very, very light. And I know probably on the screen it looks very light on here. But if I actually put it against white, you can see mm. that there's a lot more color. Yes. But yeah, there we go. There's a lot more color there. Can you see it? There we go. Yeah. Okay. So just popping that round, add in a bit of color. It's always difficult when you do the light things, isn't it? Because you can never quite catch it. Mm. Okay, now normally I'd, I'd just give this a quick clean in between, so we're going to have brown all over the card. So I'll just give that a quick wipe off. And then what I want to do, the other part of the stencil, I just want to add a bit of texture. Now if we look at this stencil, I'm just using it as a bit of texture, but what else do you see in there? Are you asking me the question? I am. What else do I see yeah. in the top in of the, the stencil? Pattern. Yeah, what else do you see in there? Uh, it's wings, angel wings actually. Yeah. Do you see knitting? Yes, it could yeah. be knitting. Yeah. Yes. Do you see tire tracks? Yeah, if you master them off. Yes. Single tire tracks. Mm -hmm. uh, vines. Yeah. It could be Little anything, vines. Yeah. yeah. The great thing is with the stencils, with the mixed media stencils, mm -hmm. any of them, you can make so many different things with yeah. them. If you think outside the box, it's what you do around it. They're absolutely yeah. brilliant. Yeah. So you can use them for a lot. So I've done the background there. Okay. So we've got that into place. And then what I want to do, I'm going to stamp the robot just to show you how beautifully. Our stamps do stamp out. Um, we always have a really good grade of polymer um, and they really are quite deep so you get a really nice impression with them. So I'm just going to turn that sideways and I'm just going to take my robot and I'm going to pop him on the wall. So nice and firmly on the wall. Okay. He's a very happy little robot. He isn't is he? a happy I like my little robot. Yeah. <laughs> I like his little spiky hairdo. There's there's sort of one sort of happy one, one mad one, and then um, one sort of scary one. Yeah. <laughs> as a lot of people have been telling me. So Okay, so we can start to do a bit of colouring in. Now I'm not gonna colour it all in because that'd be really boring watching me. Um, and I want to show you so much during this hour. So so literally, these are clean colour that I'm using here, which we do use a lot. And unfortunately, we haven't had a chance to bring them back to you. But hopefully, once they come back in, we will do. So literally, I'm using a couple of greys here, and I'm just dragging the colour out just to blend the colour in. So 
and what I would do is I would colour that full robot. Mm. Okay. But what I also use as well, on the show as well, we've got the beautiful, these are my precious, these. Mm. These are my Winker Stella. Oh, now, yes, Winker Stella's <laughs> are very good, aren't they? It's fantastic. Winker Stella yeah. fine liners. Yeah. And um, the design team love these, especially Marianne. Marianne uses mm. these a lot. But I just want to show you how beautiful these are. So when you use these, what happens is they're very, very high pigment. They're artist quality pens, so they're very, very high pigment. So when they go on, you've got a sparkliness. But as they dry, the mica in them sort of comes to the top and they get more and more sparkly. Mm. That's what I love about them. So if we can really get the camera in there. Yes. Can I move that? Yeah, that's, yeah. Can you see how sparkly? Yeah. Yeah. Really is beautiful. Brilliant camera, man. Yeah, it's a robot. <laughs> <laughs> it's a robot camera. I know. <laughs> Although our director does, she she does have to. Um, I don't know what she has to do actually. I'm doing this. Is it a, is it a, is it a uh, joystick? It's like a joystick. I think you don't make a noise with it. So you can see that we can just start <laughs> to add detail. And the lovely thing is, they're a really nice bullet nib, but they're a soft bullet nib, so mm. they flow really nicely. But again, you can see, look at the look at the beautiful sparkle in that, mm. and it just brings your brings your images alive. You know, really, like you can see the yeah. the glitter in that. So they really are fabulous. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to go on a little bit further, and I'm going to show you if I can find the right bit. There we go. Okay. So what I've done is, um, that's the one I've just used, sorry, bear with me. There it is, because I've turned it over. What I've done here is I've put Program to Party and I've put I'm Botty About You on there, okay? And then another thing I wanted to show you was, you can take uh, fine liners, black fine liners, so these are just permanent fine liners, and then you can start to add detail into your brickwork, okay? And it really isn't, you don't have to go around every brick, but it's just adding a little bit of detail but what it actually does is makes it look like it's part of the um, stamp it's stamped and not just stenciled mm. you know it's part mm -hmm. of the picture as well um, so I've gone in as well and I've put that on and then what I've done as well with our lovely mixed media stencil so yeah. this is the one that you said with all the chevron yes, and, and right. bits in. Yeah. But also on here are these beautiful little hearts. Mm. And I thought they'd work really well with Unbotty about yes, you. Yes, they would. So again, what I've done is I've just taken some of the hearts and I've just drawn around them. And I've just, you can just move it where you want them to be. Okay. And then what you can do, you can either use your clean colour or you can colour in with your sparkle pens, however you want it to be. So I'm just going to add a little bit of red into these. And again, I'm not going to do too much because I want to show you quite a bit here. And then what I've also done from the robot set, I've stamped out some of the panels. Okay, yeah. now these are fantastic panels um, because we can do so much with these. What we can actually do is just stamp them straight on. So if you didn't want to decoupage them, you can then just literally take them yeah. and pop them on the side. Mm -hmm. So if you want to decoupage some of them and bring some of them forward, then you can do that as well. Yeah. So you can start to build up your areas around the outside. Nice. Okay. Yeah. I've also taken the robot and I've just stamped. Uh, on a small piece of card, you don't have to waste him, just stamp the centre of it um, and I've done a little 3D bit. Mm. So again, we can decoupage with them as well. So we can take little bits on and Cute. decoupage. Yep. But if you do want to 3D things, then I've got some that I've done here earlier. So you can literally just take them. Don't waste them, okay? Mm. When it comes to using them, just snip in between. You know, we can use one off to the side. Mm -hmm. If we want to do it that way, we can do it that way. Yep. If we want to take another one off in further. Again, if we wanted to use one of the big ones, we can do. Just play around with them, okay? So mm. have a play around and just start to build your borders up going around the outside, yep. okay? And then what I've also done as well, also in the set, let's just give these a tip out. You get these lovely little screws and bolts so you can use these to decorate. Again, if you just want to stamp them, you can stamp them. If you want to 3D them, you can 3D them. 
um, and just scatter a few around. So we can start to build up lots and lots of different pictures from yeah. them. So if I show you the one that I've done there, you can see that I've just taken some up the side, some of the panelling up the side. I've taken a little bit along the top. I've put a couple of little screws in there and some little loose ones. And I've also added a little light bulb there. But you can see the glitter if I... Oh, look at that. Yes, yeah, fabulous. See that, those Wink Stella pens. Yeah, they're amazing, they aren't they? They are amazing. So That's so good. But it's, yeah, it's a brilliant little card. It's a lovely card. Mm. It's a lovely card. We've only just met, but I think you're incredibly talented. Oh, thank oh, I'll you. I'll just tell you that. Thank you. Um, you are. Very good. Thank you very much. Very good. Uh, okay, if you want to buy anything, go to the website, hochannel.com. You can find everything there. And remember, £40 or more, you get the whole deal with the Freedom Members Club. Yeah. So have a look there. And uh, it's Freedom Frenzy. It is Freedom Frenzy. So if you're a member of the club already, you will get a £6.97 discount. Uh, yay, first time I said it right. If you are not a member of the club, we will give you a month's free membership. So you can check it out, try it out. And you get free package and posting as well. So it's all there for you on the website, hochanda.com. Com. But let's take you through the news today. These wonderful little robots uh, that uh, designed by Lisa, of course, that she designed so well and they're such great fun and very different, very unique. Um, and as you've seen there, you can really play with them and just create so many uh, different cards for different people. So they are great, great fun. And uh, not just cards, of course. 25 stamps there for £14.99. I think that is exceptional value. Um, and then should we have a look at the next one? So I sort of, I drew some samples, yeah. I didn't know how fast you wanted me to go. Um, right, so let's have a look at that one. Um, and then this next one is, I think, the most tremendous card I have ever seen. Isn't that just, those pipes. That's amazing, it's amazing. This one with the steampunk elements. I mean, who wouldn't love that card? You'd want to play with it, wouldn't you? Girls rule. Yeah, we've all known that for years. There you go. That one. This is sweet with a love heart. Ah, I'm botty about you. Yep. There you are. So you can see how different they all are, you know. Don't just think in terms of greys, you know, with robots. Go for the colours, because they do look fantastic when they're coloured. However, if you want to have a grey robot, you can, and then just colour the background. So that's an idea for you there. 958354 is your item number if you'd like to get hold of those. Very busy for those indeed. Uh, right, let's move along now to our next one. They work hand in hand with the Gear Up stamp set, once again designed by Lisa. And... Um, there you are, you've got two clear stamp sets there, uh, 22 stamps in total for £12.49, uh, 437108. And uh, our producer's favourite is which one? The HB2U. It's very hip, it's very now apparently, it's very now, it's down with the kids. Uh, so, yeah, you've got some great ideas there. You could sort of mix that all in, couldn't you? Um, 437108 is your item number if you would like to get hold of those. Some finished samples there for you. Let's have a look at the extras. So you can see all the pipe work and things in the back of these cards. That's what we've been using here on these. Gear up for a great birthday. Fabulous. And there you are. Good. Yeah. So, yeah. They're doing very well, the robots. I'm not surprised. Uh, okay, so that's 437108, your item number, and that's £12.49. and pence. Then we've got foliage and just for you as well. Um, just be you, sorry. Um, and there you are. You can see both of those sets there. 14 stamps in total. 227562 is your item number. And you can really go to town with these if I just show you. Uh, we all absolutely love bees, don't we? We really do. So you've got the buzzy bees there. I mean, look at that one. That is a tremendous card. I think that's fabulous. And then you can do the foliage in there. We've used other elements. Look at this one. Oh my goodness me. That's a lot of bees. It's a lot of bees. And that is one of the best cards I think I've ever seen. It's amazing. Fabulous. Well, if you want to be able to make that, it's uh, 227562, £12.49. Uh, but we have got some brand new stencils for you on the show as well. Let's give you the details. Um, so you can see there, you've got that lovely honeycomb to go with your bees and the florals and the circles and then the, um, 
sort of tire tracks in there, the arrows. So yeah, a whole host of different patterns in there. 444, 312, 12 pounds and 99 pence if you would like to get hold of those. Right, but time for another demonstration now from Lisa. What we're going to do? Okay, so we're going to do a B one now, mm -hmm. and that stencil set you just said it's got the bokery, which yes. is one of my favourites, I have to say. So we're going to do this one now. If I put it the right way up, we will. <laughs> okay, so we're going to have a little go at this. So this is using the background stencils, the B set, and the foliage set. Okay. So obviously the bees and foliage coming together. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what I've done is I've started to, I've got a piece of card, I think it's about four and a half inches, um, and I've started to put some antique linen just on the background there. Um, with oxides, if you do put your fingers on it, once you've actually done one side, you get sort of oil prints on them. Mm. So it's always best to just put a bit of um, copy paper on top. Yeah. So I'm just popping a little bit on the background. You haven't got to worry too much, it always dries a bit lighter anyway. Mm -hmm. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use um, tone on tone. So I'm just going to take some of the bubble stencil on the bocker and I'm just going to add detail over the top. So this time what I'm doing is I'm pressing quite hard, I'm really saturating my sponge and it looks like you're not really achieving a lot. Mm. But once you actually take it off, can oh, you see? Yes, look at that's amazing. We get tone on tone. Yeah, okay. very good. So I'm just going to again pop it on top, and I'm just going to rub it across, and just add a little bit of detail on the background, and then I'm going to take that off of there. Mm -hmm. And then what I tend to do is just take a bit of tissue because obviously oxides are quite wet. Yeah. So just take a bit of tissue and just get up that residue. And if you do want to just It'll always blend in with oxides. That's the lovely thing about them. It blends in nicely. So it's just given us a soft background mm. there. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what I'm going to do next is take the beautiful flower. Now what I love about this stencil, this is great for mixed media. It's great for floral, if you're doing florals. But also as well, if you think about this, um, under the sea, bubbles. Yes. yes. And then if you chop it off here, seaweed. Yes. Can you see? Yeah. yeah, seaweed towards the bottom. Mm -hmm. So again, it's one of those that's really versatile. Mm. Okay, you can do so much with it. So let's take our little flower and I'm going to put it slightly off to one side. And then I'm going to take the tea dye again. So again, these are inks I use quite a lot, but they're great for backgrounds because they're light enough to be able to then go on mm. with other things. I always say it's sort of building a picture. So you start at the base and then build on top in layers. And it's the same when it comes to mixed media. Okay, so just popping that on, okay. And then you can see that's given us a lovely little flower in the background there, okay. Yeah. But again, it doesn't take it away from it. Yes. You know, it's yeah. nice and faint there. So I've popped that on there. Now what I'm actually going to do is I'm just going to swap it over because rather than watch paint dry <laughs> and watch me heat it with a gun. I've done another one that's dry. Okay. So again, we can get plenty in there. So you can see with this one, once it's dry, can you see how light mm. the background's gone? Yes. Yeah, so the background fades and then it, le it makes it brighter what you've put on top mm. because you've done tone on tone. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take one of the um, leaves from our uh, foliage set that comes with the bees. Uh, this is our nature collection. I'm just going to ink that up. So I'm using Versafine Black Onyx and I'm just going to put it in three places. So I'm just going to add one on the right hand side. And I'm going to add one maybe coming over the top. And let's do another one coming this side. Okay, so we've got our foliage coming in, so we're starting to see a picture here. Then I'm also going to, I absolutely adore these little bees that's in the set. It's like a, a little swarm of bees, which mm. I absolutely love. Bees are so important. Yeah, they are. So I'm going to pop the bees into place. And a few down there. And then also in the set as well, you've got this little tiny one. So I'm just going to ink up this one here and normally I'd have it on a smaller block because I've got my demos all prepared all, I'm using all my blocks at the moment so so I'm just going to dot a few little bees just around okay then we can start to add some color to them so with the smaller ones what I tend to do 
is just add a little bit of pale blue. And because I'm using a water-based medium, we haven't got to worry about the medium underneath mm -hmm. because it's just going to blend in with it. Yeah. Okay. And then again, this is where our Winker Stella fine line has come in, just to add a little bit of sparkle. And it looks like it's, it's the tiniest amount, but believe me, it really does make a difference. Once you pick it up into the light, you can start to add that. You can then add some colour onto your leaves as well. So we can start to add a little bit of colour onto the leaves. Again, I've just got a lighter green here. And I'm just going to pull that colour and blend into there. Okay. Again, I could take, you know, 20 minutes colouring that. Mm. That would be boring. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring in the one that I've done. Now, what I've actually done here as well, on the show as well, we've got the Winker Stella pens. Mm. Okay. So these are a set of three. So you've got a gold, a silver, and a clear. We'll give okay. the details on your screen. So you just add... A little bit of that sparkle over the wings. Okay, so when I bring this one up, can you see? I can move that to the camera. Mm. So there we yes, go. There Look at that go. sparkle there. Yeah. Okay, so it's really going to bring those little bees out there. Okay, and add a lovely sparkle to that. Now, what I've also done is I've used the big bee, and then again, I want to show you how beautifully they stamp. So I would take my small bee as well, nice firm pressure. And then again, what I tend to do is I do the, um, I either do the bee in sparkly or I tend to do it in two different colours. Mm. So I'm just taking, this one here is light brown. So I'm just taking a bit of that and then I'm adding the yellow over the top and just blending that in. So again, we can take our time on it. Now what I do love to do is to use the black out of the fine liner pens because again, you get that beautiful, it's almost like a charcoal and this is brilliant for the robots as well. It works really well with the robots because mm. it's a, a lovely charcoal colour but it's also again, it's got that sparkle to it. Yeah. So you can see that silver sparkle to it there. Okay. So it gives you a really nice shine. Mm. And then when it comes to the wings, I use the pale blue. This one's actually called Shadow Mauve. I don't know why they call it that, because it's actually pale blue. Um, but it's one that I use a lot. And then again, we're going to take our Wink of Stella. It's starting to look like my table at home. And we're going to add some sparkle onto the wings as well. So you can start to see as that dries, we get a bit of sparkle there. Yeah, okay. lovely. Now, lots of people don't like fiddly cutting out. So what I do suggest sometimes, if you just run around the edge with your blue pen, you mm. haven't got to cut in quite as, as close to yes. it. So yeah. if you really don't like the fiddly stuff, um, then when you've cut it out, you can see the sparkle on this one. Mm. But when you've cut it out, can you see... It's, we've got that little white line around it, okay? Yeah. But it still looks as good. It does, still yeah. looks great, yeah. okay? So what we can then do is work out... Sorry, I moved a bit quick for the camera then, didn't I? Um, we can work out where we want to put our little bees, mm. okay? And then also in the set, you have your little bee trail. So what I tend to do is just hold my bee down and then stamp the trail. And let's turn this one around the other way. So I have this one coming off and then pop in that one down, okay? So, once we stick them into place, we then have our lovely little bee card. We can oh, bring the wings up. That's lovely, isn't it? And we've got our beautiful little bee card. Yes! Um, quite a simple little card. Yeah, but lovely. Uh, but just brings everything together. Yeah, it so does. Yeah, perfect. Right. Well, if you want to be able to get hold of the bees and, uh, and make things like that, uh, it's 227562. That's your item number, £12.49 for that collection to be able to make something very different to the robots. So very great, this show is all different, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, with Hobby but Art, we do literally everything across the board. Yeah. That's the great thing. You know, yeah. we've got so many different designers. Mm. Um, Sharon's a fantastic designer. And, mm. Oh, my God, the stuff she draws. Brilliant yeah. artist. Fabulous. Uh, well, let's give you some more inspiration, then come back and have one final play this mm. hour.
love it when you get a show that has got so many different varied things and then you get loads of inspiration and this show certainly is that in buckets isn't it let's have a look at those some stencils first of all these are brilliant to work with your pastes to work with your colors to work with your inks um, and uh, some fantastic backgrounds for you brick walls um, as we were saying with this one where is my I think I was looking at the wrong one. Yeah, you had the wrong one up, didn't you? You had the wrong one on the screen. Yes, and I was looking at it, and that's why I couldn't see my finger. Right, okay, so let's ignore that. I'll come to that in a second. So first of all, this one, you have got the beehives, you have got the flowers and the circles, uh, you've got that uh, tire tread there. But if you look, you've got so many other things uh, there. So, you know, it's, it's all about using them in different ways. But if you want to get hold of those, it is 444-312, that's your item number, £10.39 if you are a Freedom Members uh, Club person, because you will get your free PMP. It gets delivered for 10.39, which is fantastic. Let's move on to our next ones. These, yeah, no, the next ones. Yeah, the next ones are what I'm pointing at. <laughs> there we go. So, yeah, these are the ones that were on the screen. And I was going to say that, yes, when you look at that, that could just be a variety of things. And now I can't remember what the things were that I saw. <laughs> Very important. Um, Wheat fields, I was thinking. Corn. Um, single tire treads. Um, seeds, angel wings. There's all sorts of things that you could see in there. And then you've got the kind of chevrons. This could be like a sort of, if you were doing uh, like a sort of pond. You know what I mean? Ripples on the water. Do you know what I mean? Moonlight, cobbled streets. Um, Quite frankly, that was like a biscuit. So you could make a chocolate biscuit. You could you could get a little bit of me um, tin foil, couldn't you, and wrap it round half the biscuit. If you do have the moon, yeah. you put it over the top and put that on with a darker colour, it gives you like the spots on the moon. Yeah, spots on the moon. Really, really yeah. nice way of, yeah. you know, totally the moon. Yeah. Lisa definitely threw that in there because she was obviously thought I was talking nonsense uh, <laughs> about the biscuit. I can see a biscuit in there. Um, and then we've got this one. It does look like a biscuit. And then we've got this one, which is your lovely little um, circles. You could have bubbles in there. You could have anything. It could be one of those, um, you know, those beads of things that your grandma has from the door. You walk through. <laughs> you do. Stop looking at me like I'm an idiot. Uh, <laughs> then we've got... But you are, Rachel. Then we've got this bit of foliage here as well. OK, all of that for 310645 is your item number. £10.39 if you are a Freedom member of the club and it's a free PNP. I can't get my words out tonight. Uh, 310645 is your item number. Right, let's talk about irises now. Not the ones in your eyes. These beautiful, beautiful flowers here. And I'm just going to show you a couple of examples because they are so different. So you can go like that and make them quite a literal interpretation. You can go for something which is quite soft. You know, you can really build it up and use something else. Um, look at that one. That's so pretty. And then you just got a splash of colour and the iris itself. Uh, that's the great thing with these. And if you really want to go to town, my goodness me, that's an amazing card, isn't it? So beautiful stamps, nine in total for ten pounds and ninety-nine pence. Four seven seven two six nine is your item number. Uh, quackers, it's all quackers. We are quackers in this building, let me tell you. If you would like to get hold of this set and then make cards like this, and we're talking about men, you know, nature. These are the great cards for them. Uh, but uh, yeah, you've got a whole variety um, of beautiful cards here to play with, with these lovely, lovely ducks. I like this one, the duck's head. Uh, it sounds like a bar. Um, 323417 is your item number, £10.99 there, if you would like to get hold of those there. Um, then, abstract flowers. Um, so we were saying about these, that, you know, actually, I mean, yeah, they're abstract flowers. This is beautiful, this book. Wow, with those in the middle there, stunning. Um, but, you know, yes, you could go for something like that, which is quite literal. You know, you could be painting them up and making something like that. If you want to do one single flower, brilliant. And then your, you know, sort of more abstract art comes out with flowers like that. You know, you've got this one with the bright colours. I mean, just stunning what you could do with these. So that's um, 
uh, a stamp set there with 12, 12 stamps there for 212141, your item number, £14.99 pence there. Then we're getting into our new todays, which are the bees. Uh, so if you want to get hold of the buzzy bees today, I mean, look at that card. That is just fabulous. I love the size of these bees. The proportion of them is absolutely spot on. They really are the be all and end all of bee stamps. Oh, I tried. Um, no, don't even try and do a laugh in the gallery. He just sort of went, <laughs> that's as much as I got. Let's just look at pretty cards. I'll just be quiet. Just look at the cards. There you are. And then you could do things like that. Isn't that amazing? Just fabulous. So if you want to use this set there, it is 227562, your item number, £12.49 and pence there if you want to get hold of those stamps. Then we come to our robots. And uh, we've got the two collections here, designed by our lovely Lisa, brand new today. This one is your gear up. And so if you look in these cards, you can see in the background uh, the, the pipes um, and the extra bits that you'll be getting. Um, you know, from the from this set up and the sentiments as well. So you've got that, and that is um, four three seven one zero eight. It's just something on my face. Uh, four three seven one zero eight is your item number twelve pounds and forty nine pence. And then you've got the lovely robots, and um, we really like this collection. And I'll just show you some of the cards here from this one. Uh, but this is called the Nuts and Bots set here of stamps yeah designed by lisa and really fabulous 25 stamps she has absolutely packed out that set there to give you as much as you can and just some things like this look making bunting with all the spanners and things how clever is that i love these i love these robots they are fabulous and the final one girls rule no it can't be the final one because these two are just extraordinary they have to get a mention. Look at that. Ah, oh, I love that pipe work. So clever. So 958354, your item number there, £14.99 pence if you would like to get hold of those. All available on the website, hochanda.com. Give us a call as well if you want to do, but the uh, website is the easiest place to shop, isn't it? There you go. <laughs> I had literally run out of things to say. <laughs> <laughs> the details, the website, Cliff. the phone. <laughs> there was a long pause. Yeah. <laughs> but there you go. So 958354, your item number, if you would like to get hold of that collection. Okay. Well, we've got time. We've got about six minutes. That's fine. We can do a little quickie. So I'm just going to show you I'm using these two sets. So this is designed by Anna, this set. This is Abstract um, Flowers 2. And then also we've got here Catch the Moments as well. So it's got some lovely wording in this one. And we're actually going to be using the Find Happiness, which is at the bottom of this one. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this is the card that I'm going to show you how to quickly do. We'll hopefully get through it. If not, I can, I can skip a bit. Okay. So there we go. Okay. So what we're going to start off first of all is going back again to the box stencil. Mm. So I wanted to show you how versatile this stencil is and, and you can get so much out of it. Again, if, you, if you're not happy just holding stencil, it's a bit of stencil tape and just stencil it down. So I'm just going to start off first of all with tumble glass. And I'm just going to okay. randomly put some of the tumble glass through in different areas of the stencil. So I've gone through the centre of this panel that I've cut. So, and this is watercolour card that I'm using here. Um, we've got some watercolour card on the show for you, and I have to say, I absolutely recommend this card. Um, I've used it for over three years myself, mm. um, even before I was um, sort of designing the stamps with Jenny. I love the cardstock because you can throw everything at it. Yeah. Um, it really is a good grade of cardstock, and it's a brilliant price. So. Um, uh, well, we have got it on show. It's uh, 40 A4 sheets there, 200 G 280 GSM rather, 11.98 is what you will pay to get hold of that today. Fantastic price. For this grade of card, mm, really, really good. good. So, yeah. I mean, I throw everything at this. I use um, inks, um, I use my paints on it, mm. um, I use my watercolours on it, distress oxides, whatever you want to, it will take it. Mm. So I'm just blending it in. Now, I've purposely gone over the edge, okay? Right. And the reason being is, the thing that I adore about this card is the fact that it releases things very easily. So if you just get a baby wipe, because I'm using um, oh, water-based products, yeah, look at that. Yeah, 
That's brilliant. You just take it off. So yeah. it really is good. So if you get any little mistakes or anything, mm. you can literally no. yeah. You can just literally take it off. So I'm just going to give this a quick clean because I need to use it again. Okay, so I've gone through. Now in Anaset, you also get this lovely little scribble flower. Okay. Um, Say a flower, you can make it into a flower because you can do a centre and then add petals all the way around. Mm -hmm. You can use it in the centre um, as squiggles of flowers as well. Or you can just use it as an abstract um, stamp. So I'm just going to take little bits of ink. So I'm keeping to the same two colours. So I'm using tumble glass. So I'm just going to randomly pop some round. Purposely pop some over the top of the centre of the circles as well so at the moment the tumble glass is quite light so again this is remember I said about building the background mm. so this is building from the bottom upwards putting in the layers yeah so I'm gonna swap over give it a quick wipe and then I'm gonna go into the twisted citron I love twisted citron whoops it's an absolute beautiful color so it reminds me of summer mm. so we need that don't we we need something too don't we yeah <laughs> we really do so again, it's just being random. You haven't got to think too much. I think sometimes when we overthink things, it doesn't it doesn't work out quite so well. Yeah. You know. And I I say things are never a mistake. They're happy accidents. Mm -hmm. So, okay, let's do one more. Okay. So we've popped our little circles on there. Now what we can actually do is we can go back to our stencil, and just use a fine liner, and start to add some detail. So again, we're doing this as cards. You can do this in your journals. Um, if you want to do a bit of doodling now, I do a lot of freehand doodling, but a lot of people worry about it They're mm. not you know, they're not mm. um, confident enough to do it So this is where your your stencils can come in handy because all I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a few of the circles And I'm just gonna go around them. It doesn't matter if they're perfect Okay, if you go over one and it goes slightly wrong. Don't worry about it Okay, there I've done one there where I wiggled a bit. Okay, so, because what we're then going to do, you can then go over the top and do some little wiggles. Yeah. Some little dots and dashes. Okay. What it does, it sort of frees you up. A lot of people worry about doodling because they think they don't know where to start. Mm. But it's one of those things that, you know, I never worry too much. I literally just play Doodly. around. Yeah. yeah. Again, if you want to, you can add things like dots. Again, I was just going to do it freehand. But if you want to just add dots... You can take dots and just use your stencil as a template, mm -hmm. okay, just to add detail in there. Again, I'm just going to do a little bit freehand. So, little wiggles. We've got one minute left, by the way. That's absolutely fine. Okay, so, find happiness from mm -hmm. our set. That's going to go through the centre. A little bit of distress ink around the outside, so I would take my blue or my green. Yep. And then with the flowers, I've um, stamped them, coloured them cut them out and then what I've done is I've just cut in half you can see that wing castella again on there that mm. I've used on there you can see the glitter okay and what I've done is I've just stuck one down there one down there one at the top slope slightly overlapping and one down there perfect okay and then we end up with that and just to show you a different color yeah there we go yeah very good okay they Fabulous. just look lovely and funky don't they, they do they really do look lovely funky. funky. Mm -hmm. Lisa, it's been an absolute pleasure. Good. When Thank are you, you. back? Um, we are back, I believe, on the 29th of April. That's too long. I'm going to start a petition. <laughs> That's ridiculous. <laughs> Thank you so much, my lovely. Thank you. Thank you to you. See you next time. Bye-bye. Okay, coming up now, why not be your creative best with crickets? Great show, that one. And then we've got Pen Charge One Day Special and Pink Frog Crafts later on. See you next time. Have a good night. ta -ra. Hi, I'm Gina Barrett from Gina B Silkworks. We're a family company specializing in traditional crafts for the modern maker. Most of our products involve textiles and age-old techniques from button making, lace making, weaving, and other forms of passamentary. I hope you'll be able to tune in to the Gina B. Silkworks shows here on Hojanda.
Would you like to improve your crafting techniques by watching and crafting along with your favourite Tachanda guest demonstrators, all from the comfort of your own home? If the answer is yes, then we are very excited to invite you to Craft Along, where you, our presenters and guests, will create an amazing array of projects throughout the year. So tune in, be inspired and create with Craft Along, your monthly crafting workshop. Hi, I'm Lou from Studio Light. Studio Light has been around for about 40 years now. They're based in the Netherlands. It's a family run business with a great heritage. The products that Studio Light bring us are very diverse, fantastic dyes, great papers, but all round on trend. Over the 40 years Studio Light have evolved, they listen to me the demonstrator and you the customers and really take our ideas on board. On the Atranda shows we'll share with you the diverse techniques and products will inspire you to produce your own individual pieces of artwork. So make sure you don't miss the studio light shows on a chander. Welcome back. Well, we've got another fabulous cricket hour with you. You can see the cricket maker is already in action. Got some fabulous fabric as you can see there, and that wonderful little blade there is cutting out, cutting out to perfection, and that is the key thing. It's one of those fabulous things that you can do with your cricket maker, but of course, there's a lot more to it than just cutting out your fabrics, and that is what we are going to be seeing in the next. And I've got the lovely Mike hello, with me. Hello. hello. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm very good, thank you. How are you? I always love watching that cut out. <laughs> I know, so me too. It is mesmerising. Now, you were here earlier on at four o'clock. I was indeed, And yeah. obviously you've got the show here. So what did we see at four o'clock mm -hmm. and what are we going to see during this hour? Yep, so the four o'clock show, if you missed it, was mostly about actually cutting fabrics with the Cricut Maker. So really focused on fabrics and different things that you can cut with it. Okay. This show is going to be a little bit more about personalising your projects. Ooh, okay. So we're going to be using the Easy Press. Lovely. The Easy Press 9x9, which I'm sure you've seen before if you've seen mm -hmm. previous shows, but also the Easy Press Mini, Lovely. which you're very excited to be bringing back. Well, this is it. Yeah. Um, so yeah, you've got lots to see during this hour, so grab yourself a cuppa, settle in and uh, yeah, enjoy the ride and of course we can hear the Cricut Maker there whirring away and this is one of the things, I mean it's fabulous for cutting out your fabrics but yeah. you can cut out so much yeah. more. Oh my goodness, yeah, it can cut out thousands and thousands of different materials, so everything from the lightest weight paper, so mm -hmm. tissue paper it will cut out, mm -hmm. lightweight fabric, silk, organza, all the way through to heavy denim, leather. Wow. Chipboard, it's quite a range balsa of projects, wood. Isn't it? Oh yeah, god, I know it's incredible. Really now it's amazing. stopped now, so is it ready for us to look at in a few moments? Yeah, if we want to go back to it and have a look. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, should we chat about the bundle first? Then we'll yes. have a little look yeah, afterwards. Yeah, there's a lot because, to talk about here, isn't there? <laughs> well, there you go. You saw um, the maker in action, so that is kind of the hub of the whole thing, isn't it? Oh yeah, absolutely. So this is the ultimate smart cutting machine, and quite simply, it's the best cutting machine out there on the market. It can cut, Fabulous. as I was saying, an incredible array of different materials, but it also does a lot more than just cutting. It really can draw, it can score, it can engrave, it can deboss, it can, oh, so much it can do. Well, this is <laughs> it. Now, we've got two different ways for you to get hold of your Cricut Maker. We've got the bumper bundle, which we'll talk you around in just a few moments. And at the bottom of the screen, you have got your um, your Cricut there. You can see the, your ultimate cutting machine on its own. So, if we're going for the machine by itself, mm -hmm. what do we get within that particular element? Yeah, of course. So, you get, obviously, the machine itself. You get the black fine point pen, which is just a fine point pen for using mm -hmm. on card and paper. Um, so, quite handy for writing out different details. Mm -hmm. You get the two cutting mats as well. 
well. So you okay. get the pink mat and the blue mat. The so pink those two is, top ones that you're yeah, going to exactly. get. Yeah, okay. exactly. Should we lift Let's one up to show the size? Just so people yeah. can see those. So, so these, these are ones, what sort of size are they? 12 by 12 inches. Okay. So a good size. Um, so the pink one is for cutting fabric. Um, it's called the fabric grip mat for that reason. And, and then it's detailed on there, so you're not going to forget. Yeah, exactly. And then the blue one is for cutting paper, lightweight card, vinyl and iron-on. So between the two, you'll be able to cut out 99% of things that you want Wonderful. to cut. Wonderful. And of course, if you are going for it on its own with these mats, you've got everything. You've got the blade. Yeah, of course, you get the fine point blade, which is for paper, card, vinyl and iron-on. So that's a normal knife blade, if you okay, imagine an yeah. actual knife. Um, and then you get the rotary blade, which we talked about in quite a lot of detail in the previous show, but that's basically for cutting fabric. Lovely. You okay. also get a little starter project as well, which is quite fun. So in a little yeah. envelope, you'll get um, some consumables, say some paper, some card, some fabric. And when you first sign into the Design Space software and register your machine, it will take you through how to use those consumables to make your very first project that's straight it. away. And the fabulous thing is you can actually download that software while you are watching the show and actually be designing before your machine yep. actually arrives. Exactly. Yep, yeah, so no need to pay, you can download it for Computer free. Computer housekeeping, what do we need to know? Nothing really, you just need a, a connection to the internet to download it initially, and as long as you can operate just basic apps on a phone, or as long as you can do basic com um, computer things, you'll be able to navigate through Design Space okay. absolutely no problem. So we're okay with Windows on a laptop, oh, yes, we're okay course. with yeah. Mac, Yeah, exactly, tablets, Windows, phones. Mac, yeah, of course, any device Lovely. that can connect to the internet, pretty much. Brilliant. Mm -hmm. So that's the machine on its own. Details yeah. are at the bottom of the screen if you are wanting to get a hold of that bundle. No, we have been busy for that one. But what are we getting extra with the bigger bundle? Oh, what aren't we getting, really? <laughs> so we've got, uh, first up, we've got a larger mat. So okay. you might see just underneath these little yeah, ones that we just huge. picked up. Yeah, we've got this one, it's which is double the length. It's exactly double the length. Okay. Yeah. So the the small ones are 12 by 12 inch. This is 12 by 24. So okay. the same width because it still needs to pass through the machine, but double the length. So now that's going to pink. So for fabric. Exactly. Yep. Love it. Yep. So that's you can easy. make much bigger fabric projects. So if you wanted to make, say, a panelled dress or skirt, you wow. could actually cut that on this. My goodness. Yeah. So there's loads that you can do with that. Fabulous. Um, we've then got some nice consumables, so we mm. want you to get crafting as Look soon as you get the bundle. Belts. So yeah, we've got the felts there. These are all, again, 12 by 12 inches, so designed to perfectly fit your mat. You don't mm -hmm. need to fit it completely, but okay. you're going to get the most use out of it if you do. Wonderful. In a whole array of different colours there. Lovely. And the great thing about this felt as well is not only does it feel really nice and tactile, it's mm -hmm. actually really sturdy. Yes. So you can cut really small and intricate shapes as well as bigger projects. See, that's the key thing, because sometimes the smaller pieces, if you've not got the right fabric there, mm. they can disintegrate. Exactly. Can't they? Might need yep. to put that iron on um, on the back of them yeah, to just keep to, them in to together, together it, but yeah. not with this. Now, we're getting some tools as well. We've got some yep. tweezers, we've got the roller. Yep, so the roller is great just for applying your fabric and paper and card, but especially for fabric to make sure you don't get any little wrinkles in there when you put it onto your mat. Um, and then the tweezers are great for removing things from your mat without touching it with your fingers, and that's just going to help extend the Wonderful. life. We've got all these goodies oh here goodness, as well. I so know. where should we start? Let's start over here with the rotary yes. cutter. Yes. Yeah, so this is standard rotary cutter. If you're a seasoned sewist, then you might already have one um, in your kit already. But let's face it, you can never have too many. And that's this is true. this is a really good rotary cutter. I've got a couple, and this is always the one that I go to. Um, so you can use that directly on these sticky mats oh, that's as good well, to know. Yeah, which is handy. With the larger one, because if you are cutting things like you. Your, your exactly. strips and things like that. Yep, exactly. <gasps> this exactly. could cut your strips for you, couldn't yeah, it? Yeah, it could. <gasps> yeah, like that's so what you can do. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, and it's a standard 60 mil blade. Yep. Exactly, yeah. So if you need to refill that, you can. So mm -hmm. what are these pens? So these are washable marker pens that okay. you can use in the Cricut machine right. itself, in the Cricut Maker. So not only do you get this black fine point pen, which you can just slot in and then mm -hmm. it can draw for you, then we also, we're also giving you all of these washable marker pens. And the so why would we need these? Yeah, good question. So a lot of the projects within Design Space, so the free app that we talked about, will have um, project numbers or pattern numbers for each piece of your project because okay. some of them have a lot of different pieces to them so they'll number them so that you can then refer back to the instructions and it will say so piece one to piece five along that edge for instance oh, and I'm thinking about certain patterns as well you might have markings for darts and different yes, things exactly, so does yeah, it help exactly. with that? Yep, notches, darts, everything um, if you need to add a button it might put a little cross where the button is it's great also great for embroidery as well so you can oh, design your own idea. embroidery patterns wow, yeah. yeah we've got a few back there if you want to show them later but yeah definitely yeah. have a look at those later so you've got those pens in there what have we got next here oh nice little tool set yeah this is really really handy so this is really going to just make your cricketing a lot more efficient and easy so we've got not only those little scissors 
which are the sharpest scissors I think I've ever used. Well, I can see size. they've got like, a little cover with them, so yes. it always makes you know that you have yeah. got a sharp pair they're of scissors really when they come to cover. So they're great for cutting your vinyl, um, so the iron-on that we're going to talk about, things like that. We've then got that little purple scraper tool just at the top. Oh, yeah, sure. That's good for, well, loads of different things, actually. It's a handy tool for applying things to the mat, similar to how the roller works. Also, scraping things off as well, mm -hmm. if we've got little bits left. But also, if you were, say, sticking some vinyl to a mug, okay. for instance, you can use it to smooth it out on the mug quite well. So, just a handy tool that can do And I saw Emma everything. use that to actually kind of take the little elements off the yes, mat exactly, as well, yes, like it cleaning it. Clean it, exactly. Because one of the key things is to keep your fingers away from that stickiness it as is. much as you possibly can. Yeah, it is, because there's natural oils on your fingers, mm -hmm. which can interact with the adhesive a little bit. I mean, don't worry if you do touch it, that's fine. I've touched mine loads of times before, it's fine, but try and keep your hands off if Love you can. That. Then the next piece. This is incredible. This is that little rotary blade that we saw it in action. Is, yeah. Now, this looks like it means business, and it comes yeah. in the bumper bundle. Does it come in the, um, the machine by itself? So, that's actually slightly different to the normal rotary blade. Oh, okay. So, the rotary blade itself definitely comes with the normal uh, maker. If you okay, don't buy the bundle, it will come with it. Yeah, right. obviously in, in the bundle as well. This is actually the wavy blade, so they look oh, very see, similar. Right. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So, the difference there is it's exactly the same as a normal little rotary blade, the one that we opened the show with you yes, saw that cutting yeah. it out so great for cutting fabrics um, but it's actually got a slightly wobbly edge so that circular blade is slightly wobbly yes, so yeah. as it rolls over it creates a slightly scalloped effect almost okay, right. and that has two benefits I can show you here actually right. one is if you're cutting say paper or card or oh, even iron on that. it just adds that decorative edge slightly whimsical edge in a really really quick way okay right also it's great if you're cutting out fabric because it's going to act a little bit like pinking shears. Perfect. Isn't so that you're clever? Not get the fray in. Exactly. Clever. Exactly. Yep. So not essential to use on cutting fabric, but if you have got a high fray fabric, yes. then it's quite a good thing to use. I love that. Now, talking about fabrics, you're going to get your felts within your bundle oh, yeah. if you're going for the bumper bundle. This could be your first project. Is this a project from the library? It is indeed. Oh, wow. It is indeed. Yep. Yeah. All of that, not just the flowers, the actual bag itself were cut with the Cricut Maker. I love that. And of course, the thing is, you can cut so many different fabrics. Naturally, the felt we've just been talking about, so mm -hmm. of course, you'll yep. be able to cut that. What else have we got in here? So we've got some, I think that's bonded, that's bonded oh, cotton. Oh, yes, that's got the yep. backing so on there. So we've just added some fusible interfacing to that. Oh, my goodness, what's this? So this is jersey. This is t-shirt jersey that wow. I've used. I've made t-shirts with it before, and it is horrendous to cut. Oh, it's, it's awful. Not fun. Yep. I lo love it, but it's one of those fabrics I just oh, hate goodness. working with. It's I mean, so it's tricky. curling up there, isn't it? Yes, so to yeah. cut something as intricate as this leaf shape, the maker made short work of that. Brilliant. Oh, now this is quite weighty. It's like a faux leather. Yeah, it is, but it is actually, like you say, quite weighty, isn't yeah. it? And that's cut through there, no problem. It um, can cut real leather as well. Wonderful. And of course, your fabrics, you can cut yep. direct with those. Exactly, yep. Now, this is a thicker fabric. What have we got yeah, here? Yeah, so we've got some tweed here. So this Ooh, is kind of okay. a midweight tweed, but yes. again, it will cut lightweight um, and heavyweight tweed. Lovely. And you mentioned about denim as well. Yeah, well, there we go. We've got some denim there. This is kind of more of um, sort of a lightweight it's denim. Like a chambre, yeah, isn't exactly. It? Yeah. That's the word I was looking Love for. Yeah. Oh, now look at this plush yeah. velvet. Oh, nice, that feels isn't it? Beautiful. Nice. But again, a kind of mid-weight fabric, mm -hmm. and again, something that's not easy to cut because it's yeah. got a slight amount of stretch. It's quite floppy. It's mm -hmm. not. It's smooth as well, yeah. so it's quite difficult to hold sturdy. Beautiful. But again, the mat is going to stand here and stroke oh, this for the rest I know. of the hour. It feels fabulous. <laughs> and this is a tiny selection of what it can cut as well. Even just if we're talking fabrics, there's hundreds of fabrics Brilliant. alone. We'll see that in the software when yes, we, we get will. to it. Yeah. So there you go. Those are your two choices for you to get hold of your machine. Are you going to go for the machine by itself, which is a brilliant deal at the bottom of your screen? You'll have three flexi buys on that one. And the beauty is because we are a part of our Freedom Frenzy, then of course you are going to be able to become a Freedom member straight away as soon as you're placing these. So make sure you quote Freedom Frenzy when you're placing your order whether it's on the phone lines whether it's on the website in the kind of the voucher code and then what you will find is your freedom membership will be activated free of charge for you which means you're not going to pay any um, post and packing whoops a daisy with regards to the delivery on your cricket maker it also means that if you are an existing freedom member then you will actually get an additional six pounds and 97 pence off the price of whichever of those two you choose to go for so that's why it's proved to be so popular Good deal. and it's been popular for some of the additional items which we're going to tell you about
that in a few moments. So uh, the Easy Press is one of the things I know a lot of people kind of had got their eye on, and I think with the Freedom mm -hmm. Frenzy, it's a perfect opportunity to get it at that kind of uh, slightly cheaper price. Now, mm -hmm. details on your screen. One thing I've not mentioned, I've just noticed, extended delivery on everything that we're speaking of here, but we're only looking at the 23rd of March, which is a little bit scary because it's not that far away, the oh, 23rd don't, don't. of March, is it? I know, it's next I know. weekend. What day to go now? Oh, it's yeah. Friday the 13th, isn't it? It's Friday oh, the 13th. Yeah. So far, touch wood, <laughs> we've been okay. Nothing drastic <laughs> yeah. has happened. So what have we got here? Right, so we've got the fabulous um, Cricut Easy Press 2, and this is 9 by 9 inches, so it's the mid middle size of the Easy Press. Um, okay. To explain what it is, is if you first up imagine kind of a domestic iron so mm -hmm. it's got a hot plate underneath you okay. set the temperature and then it warms up yes. um, and it's used to apply iron-on designs so yes. heat transfer vinyl designs to customize your um, soft fabric soft crafts however this is so much more than just a domestic iron it's okay. designed specifically for crafting right one of the main benefits is this bottom plate that we just showed yeah completely non-stick from edge to edge so even if some of your adhesive bleeds you're not going to have any issue okay but it's going to get completely even heat uh, gradient across the entire thing so no so hot spots absolutely no hot spots no cold spots um, no bits that aren't heated up so if you compare it to a normal iron which you might be tempted to use and mm -hmm. that, that will work um, but with a normal iron, you get hot spots that you get way too do, hot, yeah. that are potentially going to melt or burn your yeah, fabric. Yeah. Um, you get cold spots where you things do. just won't adhere as And such. also where the holes are. Exactly, mm -hmm. yeah. So where you spray the water through, they're going to get no heat. So mm -hmm. you're going to really struggle with a normal iron to apply any sort of heat transfer vinyl. You probably will get there eventually after a bit of tearing your hair out. But then when you put it in the wash, you'll probably yeah. realise, oh, actually. I should have yeah. stayed on that spot a little bit yes, longer. Exactly. One of the things that I find when I'm using, or did use an iron, because I have got one of these now, mm -hmm. um, you, you automatically, as soon as you pick up an iron, you automatically want to move you it do. backwards yeah, and forwards. Yeah, you do, don't you? It's yeah. one of those things you're used to ironing your yeah. clothes. And when you're actually putting a heaped um, vinyl on a project, that's uh -huh. the last thing that you want to do. Yeah. Because, yeah. of course, you're moving the item exactly. that you're trying to press yeah. in place. Yeah, you're going to distort it. You're going to stretch the fabric underneath yeah. as well. So, yeah, not, not ideal. There you go. Yeah. Um, it comes in a fabulous little holder, as you can see there. Mm -hmm. So it's not making any contact with, um, obviously, your counter. Does it come with a little mat as well? It does indeed, oh, yeah. okay. So this isn't just any ordinary mat in the same way that it's not just an iron it's way more than that this is five layers of patented technology inside okay. this mat here again it's it's fairly non-stick as well so it's going to last really well but these layers of patented technology are designed to bounce all of that heat back up into your oh, project okay, right. so in essence you're going to get heat from the top from the actual um, mm -hmm. easy press but also that heat bouncing up from beneath so you get kind of both sides heating your project. So, so you, you basically really take adhesion. your press and you'd actually pop it down on there and use it. Um, exactly. Put, oh, I like exactly. the idea there. Perfect. And it's going to protect your work surface yeah. as well. So even if you're working on a wood countertop or anything like that, it's not going to burn through. So you can put this straight onto pretty much anything. I like that idea. Now, is it coming with a bag? Yes, it <gasps> is. Yeah. Tell me about yeah. the bag. I love so, the look of this. Okay. I mean, it's really nice for a start. If this it was just it? a bag, then, I mean, it's amazing as it is. It's just it's a bag. But this is actually completely heat proof. As well. Oh wow! So if we go inside, where's the zip? So does that mean that when we're finished crafting, we don't have to wait for it to go completely cold? Exactly. Oh, exactly. that's brilliant. Which has been super handy for me because I am often at events and here at Hachanda and yes. I'm using my um, Easy Press, and then at the end of the day, I have to wait for yes, half an hour. Yeah. Well, maybe not half an hour, but for 20 minutes for it yeah. to cool down. But this is completely heat proof, so you can see this is going to go inside, even with the cradle. Oh fits wow! Perfectly, really snug. Pop that in. It's got these oh, I love it. it's got Velcro seat straps <laughs> exactly to hold it in place, and then all of this wall is heat proof. It's incredibly padded as you work yeah, your way it's around really there. Good. And you can see the actual fabric that's being used is designed. Yeah. It's got that kind of little silver glisten yeah, exactly, in there. Yeah. yeah, it's actually the same fabric as the mat itself, oh, okay. so we know that it's really going to be heat proof. And then you can close it up. Um, it's also got a little front pocket as well, so you can put any of your tools in there, bits of vinyl, and this back pocket, which is for the mat. So again, Lovely. perfectly sized to fit the mat. So it's Wonderful. great for just taking on the go. Lovely. Um, very, very quickly as well. Does it come with the vinyl that we've got here, or is that a different nope, item? that's part oh, of the bundle. Right, okay. Yep, yep. So, so we've got three rolls to get started Exactly, with. yep. And these are quite unusual vinyls, actually. We've got the mesh to start with, which um, has got little, little holes in. So it's this silver one here with little holes in, which... So good for stretch fabrics? And not this one, times. no. You'd oh. need the Sport Flex for that one. Okay. This is more... It kind of gives that sporty effect. If you imagine, say, like a Varsity-style hoodie, oh, yes. you know, with those dots yeah. all over. And you can layer this as well, so you could have some um, coloured vinyl beneath it, and then that will come through. through. Yep. Then we've got the holographic sparkle vinyl, which I'm going to use in the demo Ooh, a little bit that. later. So you see those really rich colours, beautiful, catching the light. 
And like then those. last up, we've got the metallic foil as well. So they're not quite catching the light Ooh, quite as much, but they are very, yeah, really metallic. So we've got gold and silver and black. And they're, yeah, they're really quite rich in person. Yes, we can just about see them the in there. It's tricky here, to see, isn't it, with that, that, um, the plastic there? But they are beautiful. Yeah. Um, and you are getting all of those in your bundle as well. Three flexi buy payments are £74.65, pence, which means, again, it's going through that £40 threshold, even with your flexi buy, which means that you can become a Freedom member. Freedom Flexi is what you need to quote. And again, if you're already a Freedom member, um, your £6.97 pence will come back to you. And just to add that you can only use that code once during our event, which draws to a close on Monday evening because all the full, all the full, full terms and conditions are everything they're all on the website so if you fancy yours then 214101 now very very quickly because I'm very keen I know we're kind of getting through but we need to look at these things in, oh, yeah. in great detail but very quickly we're going to show you a couple of more items and then we're going to get to the demo area now of course, Emma was here with the launch of the Joy. She was, and yeah. And she bought this little baby with She us. did, I know. Yes, yeah, she was a bit cheeky. I don't know if she was supposed to use that. We <laughs> oh, were supposed to save it. I don't know whether it. we yeah. actually used it, to Emma, be honest. Emma, if you're watching, I'm on to you. Oh, <laughs> well, you're in trouble, girl. You're in no, trouble. No, no, it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> I've just been so excited. I want to unveil it again myself because the Easy Press Mini, it was actually launched last October, I think it oh, was. was it? But okay. it was so popular, there were actually... Um, trouble keeping up with demand really so there was pretty much a shock a stock shortage across okay. the world so we finally got it back to Hachanda um, and the great thing about this is it's the exact same technology that I just described with mm -hmm. the easy press 9x9 nine nine, but in this tiny little mini size so if I lift that up see that tiny little teardrop oh, yes, heat yeah. press or hot plate so again this is going to get completely even temperature across with this precision tip and the great benefit of this is not only is it small it's compact it's portable it's a bit cheaper it's great for doing iron on into quite tricky positions so okay. say around buttons Could or seams. Can I use seams. that for my quilting? Exactly Ooh. you can yep it's great for that I actually keep mine next to my sewing machine yes. and I always press open my seams using this on the low temperature it's quite it's it's warm but it's yeah. not hot enough to burn my yeah. um, table so I don't yeah. even need a mat I just open my seams iron it and it's and I don't that's going to move. encourage you to do that when yeah. you haven't got to kind of get up yeah. and move away from your sewing machine. Exactly. It comes with the mat as well, does it? It does, yep. So exactly the same patented technology in that mat there as the other one that Lovely. I talked about. Um, there you go. So, of course, if you are wanting to get hold of this. Um, now, we've got vinyls to the side of it, but that's something separate, is it? Or does it That's part of the bundle. It? Yep. No yep. way. I know, I know. We are throwing a lot wow. into these bundles. <laughs> My goodness. Okay. So these are all heat transfer vinyls in these new little mini sizes, just to go with the mini, because, I mean... That's cool, isn't it? Well, little mini perfect, vinyl. For yeah, perfect size. Because is it five and a half inches wide with regards to the joy? I think it is. Is it yes. the same width that yes, we've got it is, there? Yes, yeah, exactly. So yeah. with these, obviously they're perfect for the joy, but we can yeah. use them on the maker as well. Of course, yeah, okay. exactly, yeah. And of course, even though they're quite narrow, you can um, rotate your images, so you can do mm -hmm. longer images on those as well. Um, and these are great for personalising all of your um, clothing, your home decor, your soft craft projects. Lovely. Now, these ones, they actually sit on the mat, don't they? They're not like the smart vinyl where yeah. you don't need the mat. So just yeah. bear that in mind when you do pop them into yeah, your machine. Definitely. Um, they need to go into your mat. But what a brilliant bumper bundle there. You've got two flexi buys of £47 and 47p, which again means you could use your Freedom friendly, Frenzy if you need to. Um, 964344 if you're wanting to get hold of those. So um, pretty much covered everything that we've got within mm -hmm. this. And of course, there's lots of other things that are on the web site you can have a little a little nosy at if you fancy there might be some of those different elements that you're wanting to add in by all means do so um, and of course if you have got any questions this is the time to ask we don't get Mike here as often as we would like to have him here so uh, yeah why not to send those questions through either speak to our call center they can feed them through to the uh, gallery or you can email us studio at hachanda.com if you're wanting to get in touch and I'd love to know what sort of things you have been cutting with your maker if you have got a maker so again you use those contact details again and as you can see there you've got your rotary cutting blades there your 45 mil and also your 60 mil if you do want to stock up on those not only uh, to use with your Cricut um, rotary cutter but of course if you have a rotary cutter other brands then it's pretty universal you should be able to use those in there as well and if you need some fabrics my goodness you're in the right place there as you can see there's some lovely little um, arrangements there as well and oh there you go the mint XL scraper so it's on a larger scale so 
What are we up to then? Right, so we opened the show cutting this we cotton did, fabric yeah. here. So I am just going to take this out. Okay. This is just a few basic shapes just to show how it cuts fabric. Lovely. So and this is just a regular cotton quilting style fabric. Exactly, yeah. This is actually in the Maker Bundle as well as oh, part I of the see. fabric pack, which oh. I, don't, I don't think we talked about actually, I did we? Forgot about There's this. too much in the bundle, isn't there? because we're trying to keep it for ourselves. <laughs> so even if you're going for the machine by itself, you will get these with it, or is it in the bumper bundle? No, no, just in the bumper bundle, okay, yeah. Fair enough, yeah. Then. Here you go, so you've got all there these gorgeous, and there you go, there's your polka dot one that we're looking yeah. at at the moment. Yeah, and these are all designer fabrics made by specially chosen designers, particularly for cricket as well, exclusive to cricket. There we go, so just some simple shapes that were cut that out in just brilliant. a few seconds. Look at that. Right. Fabulous. Pop like that. that to one side and we'll get on with the first ooh. demo. So, ooh, that's nearly falling off, hold on. I'm going to cover it just because I don't want to fall on the floor. It's a good habit to get into. Yeah. So when you do get your, um, your um, mat, do keep that um, acetate cover. Um, not only is it fabulous for packaging, but it's going to keep it pristine for when exactly. you need to come back yeah. to it each time. And then you can just put that away like that and it will be nice and safe. Just Lovely. Swap that there. Okay. Right, so the project I'm going to show you first is mm. I've already started making a cushion. I've already okay. added one there. It looks a little, <laughs> little bit lonely right okay, now. Okay, right. We're going to fill this in and do some decoration on it, okay? Okay. Lovely. Right, so first up, I've got some of this holographic oh, sparkle vinyl. See that? Hilarious. This lovely yeah. deep green. You can be using some of that if you've gone for the bundle um, with the easy press. Exactly, yep, yeah, that's exactly the same one mm. from there. So I'm going to open it up, and you can see I've wow, already cut some size, out of please. it, but it's still yeah. quite long, isn't it? So you get a lot there. And this is just one of the colours in that okay. pack. Now I'm going to apply it to the blue mat. This is nice. the light grit mat, and this is for card and paper and vinyl like this, okay. and iron on like this. Okay. So do you tend to, if you're uh, maybe a paper crafter, you mm -hmm. would find yourself using the light grip yes. more often than the, the other? Yep, okay. certainly, yep. So this is great for all paper and lightweight card. Okay. There oh, is... you're popping it down with the, the shiny side down. Yeah, so I'm just going to quickly press that on and then I'll explain why. Oops. Right, so the reason why we need to put this upside down is because if I flip this back over, mm -hmm. you can, well, in fact, you probably can't see, but there is actually a heat proof plastic coating here, which is oh, going to protect see, right. okay. your fabric when you do the iron on. The actual um, heat transfer vinyl is underneath with the shiny side facing mm -hmm. up. So we want to cut it from the underneath so we don't damage that protective layer right. on top. Okay. It will all become apparent when I start to cut it and Lovely. you see more. So if that sounds a bit abstract, then no, no, don't that's worry. <laughs> now the roller, of course, that's coming in that bundle if you have gone for the larger bundle. So uh, that's one of the tools that you won't have to uh, add in extra because it's there already and pop the mm -hmm. details back up on your screen. You're saving £60 on that bumper bundle and that's before you add in your Freedom Frenzy. So. Uh, yeah. That is good, isn't it? Goodbye. Yeah, take advantage of that. Right, I'm not going to show in too much detail what I'm doing on the screen. I just okay. want to jump straight into it. But I'm just connecting to the maker, so it's completely wireless. Oh, right, it okay. It does come with a cable if you want to, but if not, it can connect through Bluetooth. So Lovely. you can, I mean, you can have it on one side of the room and you can mm -hmm. be controlling it at your desk on the other side without having a big cable trailing across. Makes sense. Now when you're actually cutting out, when you're doing something like the vinyl and you're cutting it from mm -hmm. the back, do you have to do anything with your design so the machine's you aware do. of it? You do, yep, you do. And luckily I've remembered, sometimes I forget. Yeah. You have to, because we put this um, back to front, upside down, on the mat, you need to mirror your design. Okay. So that means just flip it over. So say you've got a word, if you cut it from the back and didn't mirror it, then when you turn it back the right way, it'll be backwards. So, so be we need to preempt that. Which is not a bad yeah. look, yeah. actually. Yeah, it could be pretty cool. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and the, the um, software makes it really easy to do that. There's literally just a toggle button that says mirror, and you okay. can mirror it, and it will flip everything or turn it back. So Wonderful. you don't need to do it yourself. Okay, so we're all loaded and ready to yeah. go. So the button is flashing. All of this is controlled through the software, and it tells you what to do. But if not, on the machine it flashes. I'm going to just press the little arrow button, and that locks it in place. And then the next one is going to flash, the Cricut logo button. Okay. There we go. There we go, ready to go. That's Cricut for go. And then it's just going to have a little think. And in fact, I've got the wrong blade in there, but it should tell me in a moment okay. that you put the wrong blade in oh. because I forgot to swap it from before. Oh, so at the moment it's still got the rotor in. Exactly, I like the exactly. idea that you've done this, Mike, there we because go. this is something we could experience I mean, at home. It was, yeah, I definitely did it intentionally. Of yeah. course! <laughs> <laughs> so on the actual screen now, it's telling me that it's detected the wrong blade. So That's there you go. If, if, like me, you're doing too many things and you've forgotten, 
it won't cut. That so I'm clever. simply going to take the um, blade out. Now, of course, the the blade that we've got, um, that um, you can see there, Mike's just taken out, that is part of whichever mm -hmm. those two bundles you go for. Now, I know that we are very busy for the cutting machine by itself. So if you've gone for your maker by itself, you are going to get that rotary cutter in it. You're also going to get the blade that we've just popped in. And of course, you need the two different blades for lots of different reasons. Predominantly, obviously, uh, looking at cutting fabric, you will need that little mini rotary. But with this one, you, what sort of things are you going to be able to cut with the blade that we've got in at the moment? Yeah, so this is the fine point blade this is kind of I think of it as almost like the bread and butter blade in that it's going to cut pretty much everything okay. um, so it can cut out as we're doing here it can cut out um, iron on heat transfer mm -hmm. vinyl it can cut out normal vinyl so that's like sticky um, vinyl um, it can cut out pretty much all paper or well yeah definitely all paper pretty much all card if you're going to especially thick card like grey board you mm -hmm. might need the deep cut blade which is okay. an additional thing but that's a specialist thing okay that's but, fair enough and how yeah. does it know i mean how does it know how deep it's going to need to cut so that's all within the software itself okay. so all you need to do is just choose which material you're cutting and there's a list of thousands and thousands of different ones you can search through it and find the one that you want and then when you click that it will just load it in and pass that information to the machine itself so okay. you don't need to remember oh i need to cut this paper mm -hmm. a little bit deeper than this paper if it's set up in there then it will know and you can customize all of those as well so if you did have something a bit specific say a fabric that you're not quite sure what it is mm. you can take a guess do yeah. a test cut and if it's not quite cut all the way through you can say on the next time just cut it a little bit deeper add okay. a little bit more pressure uh, and what about if you've got pro um, fabrics or, or mediums or vinyls that mm -hmm. you're regularly cutting is there some like a favorites button so there is indeed yeah yeah absolutely because we know that it, i mean it can take you a long time to look through and find the one there. that you want to cut there's so many <laughs> and even when you find one that you want there could be five different versions of that yes, fabric yeah. for instance so it's easy to forget but yet there's a little star button and you can just save it to your favourites. You can save, I think it's 20, 15 or 20 different okay. ones, so, so a lot. So if you're making the same thing over and over, then yeah. you can just save it to your favourites. Nice and easy, I like that. Pretty it's handy. It's so quiet as well it when it's is. cutting. I know, yeah, we're right next to it and having yeah, a conversation over it. it. Yeah, without yeah. any issue at all. Love the way you've got so many different areas here where you can mm -hmm. be popping all those tools that you need. And it's just such a neat, classic look. This it is, is yeah. Thing it's, it. it's Not only is it beautiful to look at, it's like a modern spaceship yeah, or something, it's isn't it? Yeah. it? It is really handy. So even these, they've got silicon at the bottom, so mm -hmm. you can put, like I've put this blade, straight in without its, its protective cover issue. yeah right. it's not going to blunt in it or anything like that same now with the, the scissors the sort of things that we're cutting out on here the designs i mean the, the designs that you've made yourself the designs that you've um, bought from the store or freebies so you can do both so uh -huh. there is a library within the design space software and you can download that now at home you don't okay. need the machine you don't need to pay anything to download it right. but there's a library within the software of more than 130,000 different images and projects. Busy. Yeah, I know, I know. I mean, I'm saying 130,000, it's going up every single day, so I wouldn't yeah, be surprised bet, if yes. we're up to 140 by yes, now. I yeah. struggle to keep up. Um, so you can either search through there, and loads of them are free, or you can um, buy some more specialist ones, okay. or there's a subscription service as well for seven forty nine, I think it is, a yes, month, yeah. oh, and you can get bonus, unlimited yeah. access to everything. Like and with those designs, are you able to use them for things that you're going to make and sell? Yes, you are, yeah. Um, we, I do recommend on individual ones just to check the angel policy, but in okay. general, the angel policy on cricket um, cricket projects is that you can make and sell as long as you obviously make it on a cricket machine. So it's not just designs, it's actual projects in yes, there as well. Yes, yeah, yeah, exactly. So yeah. most of the projects we've got over there are actually cricket oh, right, projects. Oh, yeah, right. so we can oh, go through there. Later on. Right, so I'm going to move this over here okay. to the bright pad. And first up, I'm just going to quickly cut the excess so we've cut a design mm -hmm. you probably can't see it just yet but if you just bear It'll with me it will all become apparent in a few moments now exactly. we have um, got the uh, the light panel that you're going to be working we're just going to bring that those details up this is something that's definitely worth investing in um, either at the same time as getting hold of your um, obviously your, de your deal or maybe um, you've already got your maker and you kind of been thinking about getting hold of this now is the perfect time two flexi buys on this one look at that 40 pounds use your freedom a frenzy that way you will get an additional saving if you're an existing Freedom member and of course um, you don't have to worry about any post and packing and you'll still be a Freedom member for the whole month if you're a newbie. Right so the bright pad that we just talked about hold on I'm just clearing a bit of space okay is um, so this is completely scratch proof so okay. you can see here I've got one of these tools that comes in the maker bundle Ooh, that we were talking like you about earlier. With that tool. Exactly I know, I know. <laughs> if you can just see this little hook at the end yeah and yeah completely scratch proof the bright pad has five different levels of brightness okay i don't know if the camera is picking that up but there are five different I'm levels just about to go and get some finished samples and while you're showing us yeah that. go for it yeah. and the great thing about this the, when it really comes into its own is for doing what's called weeding which is what i'm about to do now and that basically means 
taking away the negatives of your design. So I'm going to use this little hook tool just to get underneath. And it's quite a thick iron on this, so you need to be quite careful. There we go. Oh, I see, yeah. And then just hook underneath, and then you can peel it away. It's a bit, it's a slightly more brittle one, this holographic one, okay. because it's quite thick. Normally it comes away in quite a nice big, there we go, I've got that going It's just now. kind of getting grip to it, isn't it, and then away you go with yeah, it. Exactly, yeah, but you can see if you're doing this by hand without the tool, it is quite tricky. Oh, yeah. And the bright pad is illuminating, I don't know if, yeah, you can see yeah, quite you clearly, can see can't that you? That's illuminating yeah, you can it. If I turn lettering. that off, it's, it's invisible. It's tricky to see, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah, it does make so a difference. So this just lights it up, so it makes it so much easier. We'll clip that. There we go. And you can see now I've got that going. It's coming off just so easily. I'm not even being careful there because I'm so confident mm -hmm. that the machine has cut through just that top layer and it's left that protective bottom layer that I yes, mentioned before yeah. completely intact. I can just be really quite quite rough with this, I dare to say. Yeah, you know? I would say it's yeah. yeah, you're not kind of not uh, being gentle particularly with that, quite firm. And the maker, a stat that always amazes me, is if you put two bits of sticky tape on top of each other, just stuck two bits of sticky mm -hmm. tape, the maker could cut between the top one and leave the bottom no, one completely that intact. That much control? Yeah. Wow. Now, of course, we're working with vinyl here, which we'll see um, going in place. I've just grabbed a few bits and pieces here. Are these all projects, then? Find this little fox. Yep, exactly. I love that fox. Isn't it's so true? good, isn't it? Um, <laughs> again, so the lathe that you're actually getting within um, either your maker, if you're going for it by itself or if you're going for the bumper bundle, that will allow you to cut out your fabrics. Look at these. Little, little <laughs> kind of bean balls. bags. Perfect <laughs> if you wanted to do, um, perhaps you should juggle them. We need to do this. <laughs> she am this. The, you can see the vinyl on there. Of course, it's cutting the vinyl. Is it cutting the fabric yep, as well? Yep, wow. Yeah, Fabric. We've sewn it together, added the vinyl. Now, you, you're not telling me <laughs> this is a project. Yep, so no that's way. faux leather that's all been cut out on the maker, and then even those butterflies have been cut out in iron on vinyl and applied using the easy press. That is amazing. Yeah. And now, surely, not this. Yep. Not yep. this little so this is a sewing to call project. Them bum bags? I don't know what they're called actually. <laughs> I think they are. Yeah, I think it's called a hip bag. Oh, a hip bag. In the um, in the actual software, but yeah, we'll say bum bag. We know what we mean. There you go. And it's going to give you all the instructions on how yeah, you can construct this. Yeah, there's even and lining inside that as well. Really? It's, it's quite a complex project. Um, oh my goodness! Oh, got a little something else in there. What's in there? I think I just there? stuffed it with something just to oh, get a bit of three D. Is it next week's washing? That's what we've got in there. <laughs> yeah. We won't have a little look at that one then. Um, you've got the hoopers, and of course, you were talking about the pens that we get within the bundle. Yes. bundle. So yeah. this is one of those wash away pens. Washable marker pens, yeah. So this is great for creating your own embroidery designs. Embro yeah, do yeah. stitch work with that. So you can either, there's loads of embroidery patterns in the Design Space software, which you can search for free now from home. Or, of course, you can upload your own. You can draw your own. You can design your own in the software. Can you imagine if you've got maybe a niece, nephew, maybe your son or your daughter, um, and they've done something that you can actually scan in. Oh, Perhaps their yes. first ever drawing. What about scanning that in That'd and actually turning that into something? So good. You could stitch on so top good. or do or anything. And then when you're done, just wash it away with water. Yeah. No need to add any soap or anything like that. And it washes Lovely. away beautifully. Now, that didn't take long to do at all. No, it didn't. There we go. So if I turn that upside down. So in fact, actually, the way that I was cutting it was this way. This okay. is the way the machine cut it. Oh, back of course, to the front. dull side, yeah. Exactly. And then if we turn it over, then you can see. Oh, if growing? I turn that off, there we go. <laughs> so we've got the glittery side showing. Oh, look at that. It looks like yeah. it's got lights behind it. That's amazing. It does, doesn't it? It really catches the light well. I like that. So now we can add this to our cushion. So I'm just going to clear some space. No problem at all. Um, obviously the details on the screen are for the machine. It's just as a basic bundle to start with. But if you do want to go for the bumper bundle, then you can do it. Now this is a big mat. What's this, this one? This is a big mat. So this is available separately. Um, okay. It's not in the actual 9x9 nine nine, um, Easy Press bundle, just because it's not the mat that matches the size. But this is to go with the slightly larger Easy Press, which is 10 by 12 inches. Oh, right. So this is just exactly the same technology. Yeah. You can see it's been folded in half. That's yeah, why it's got nice, that slight nice bump. Size that, yeah. yeah, exactly. So I'm just okay. using that for the demo. But normally at home, I would use the smaller mm -hmm. mat with the um, mid-size Easy Press. So don't I worry if you've got this one I think that would be a popular mat by itself for many of our, our sewers out there. Could be good. Right yeah, definitely. Right. So I'm going to get the Easy Press now. Oh, you can okay, see yes. What do we need to do? What I've done is I've set the temperature already. So if you press the this little thermometer button, mm -hmm. then that's going to flash the temperature. And I can change this in increments of 5 degrees Fahrenheit. I can also change it to degrees centigrade as well, change Brilliant. the metric. I know that it's 330 degrees, and I know that it's 30 seconds because I looked on the Cricut website. There's okay. an interactive guide, and it's super handy. 
basically all you do is choose your um, the easy press that you're using whether it's the mini or the easy press um, 2 or whichever one um, choose the type of iron on that you're applying so in this case the holographic okay. um, glitter and choose the, the substrate the that you're applying you're it to yet yeah, in which ah. case this is 100% cotton click OK and then it will say right heat it to 330 degrees for 30 seconds and then I just program that into this little screen and it's ready to go when it's Lovely. warmed up. Lovely. Oh, so how do you know when it's ready? So see the button is red at the moment. Yes, yeah. So just see that on the screen that's mm -hmm. red it's going to go green when it's ready and it will make a little beep so it's already getting there. Not far off. Like this that? is as well, you might have noticed we're calling this the Easy Press 2. Mm. There was an Easy Press 1, okay. which um, is great, and I think I, th I think it's probably still on sale. You can still get that, but this um, heats up a lot faster and cools okay. down a lot quicker and gets a lot hotter right. as well. So it's kind of the real next step of creme it. De la creme. Um, if you are wanting to get hold of yours, of course, you can get it. We've got the bumper bundle, as you can see there. It's going to come, obviously, with the little cradle that is it's a, a standard. You've got your mat, which I think is a bonus thing within our bundle, because you don't usually get that and you certainly don't get those foils and the holographic and all those fabulous elements or the bag as well um, 70 pounds saving with regards to that one but of course as a freedom member um, if you're using your freedom frenzy code then you are actually going to be knocking that potentially first payment down by six pounds and 97 pence what are you doing now right so i'm giving this just a little warm it's good practice okay. to just give your fabric a little bit of a warm first just to get rid of any moisture that might be in it and just to help activate nice that adhesive, yeah, as well. exact, yeah, exactly, yeah, exactly. Get rid of any wrinkles. I flipped it over to iron it just because I've already got these vinyls on. Never iron directly onto the um, onto your any vinyl itself. Vinyl. Yeah, make sure so that you're covering it. Did you it. have something similar to what you've done here with those designs on before, and then you, you yes, iron them exactly. in place? That's yeah. kind of part one of your design. Exactly. Yeah, okay. and you can layer these. I'm actually just slotting these in, but you can layer them on top of each other. Um, so wow. you can do up to about four layers we recommend yes. you could probably do more than that but we recommend up to four making sure that if you have any um glitter vinyl yes. that goes on top just okay. because it's a bit of a bumpy surface you don't want to add anything on top of that now by the look of it there's still the tack that you've got there which is positioning exactly. it exactly yeah so even though that's not been heated that has actually stuck down so that's going to hold in place Lovely. it's not going to kind of go flying anywhere mm -hmm. or get staticky or anything like that then I'm going to do this in two goes just because this isn't quite big enough to cover. Yeah, big, big design. But I think it's good just to show that you don't need to have a design that's yeah. small enough. I'm going to click go. So yeah. I just clicked that green button. Now it's green because it's yeah. up to temperature. I'm giving this a slight bit of pressure. So I'm talking like one finger's pressure there like that Ooh, so you not must be like the iron man though <laughs> if that's what you need a lot yeah. of pressure i'm actually it's counting down as well it is yep so when i press that button that starts the timer so there's a built-in timer to this mm -hmm. and i'm keeping it completely still when that gets to zero so we're on seven six oh, not far it's going to beep so you, even if you're not paying attention it's going to beep to let you know yep. and there we go there we go so that's beeped so i'll lift that carefully off then i'll just move it to the other side as well and do exactly the same thing again now, I love this design. You could be making aprons and popping this on the front yeah, of an apron, couldn't you, for the garden? Yeah. Father's Day's coming up. May, hey. Might not be in time for Mother's Day. Um, but, but uh, of course, this is a, a project that's going to be well received by anybody. Oh, Any yeah, gardener definitely. out there is going to be thrilled with this. But you could even have somebody's name on yes, there. Yes, exactly. It? Yeah. It's yeah. a great way to just upcycle something that's store bought, relatively inexpensive yes. and plain, but just yeah. adding a little personal touch just makes it increases that's its value tenfold, it does. doesn't it? And this is the thing, that it doesn't have to be something that you've made from scratch. So as you can see here, obviously you've got a cushion cover that has been purchased and you're adapting it. I'm thinking of all of those situations. I was chatting with um, Kim, one of our producers here, and her little son starting school and she was talking about having to put his name on everything. Oh, yes. Well, on the, the maker, you could literally be doing a yep. whole sheet of names yep. and just ironing them wherever exactly. they need to be ironed. Yeah, and it can cut tiny, tiny little details. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah, actually, I mean, it's fair, this is still it. quite thick here, but it can get really tiny little detail that it can cut so even if you are doing just tiny little labels yes. for the back of a shirt or something yeah. it will be able to do that so could you actually just use the fonts that you've got on your computer you yeah. don't have to do anything special no no I mean there's loads there's hundreds of fonts within the design space software um, a lot of them are free some of the more specialist ones you mm -hmm. pay for but if you do have fonts on your computer say any custom fonts any fonts that you've purchased mm -hmm. for other things they will automatically appear in your design space software when you use your this computer and i know this is just me from personal experience having kids um when you actually put in the names on things when they're young sometimes they don't recognize their name when it's mm. actually done in text so uh, you could actually put like a little dinosaur or something else yeah. that they recognize and they right. will know that that is their pair of socks or their pair oh, of trousers after pe or whatever that's a great um, idea. and that's something you wouldn't normally get those on those name tags that you can no. buy so it's something that you could 
could actually do as a service. That's a good idea, I like that. Right, so you'll notice I did actually, I finished ironing this and then I flipped it over and I heated yes. it from behind just for mm -hmm. 15 seconds as well. Again, good practice just to make sure it's stuck on. All of that will be detailed in the interactive Cricut guide, which you can find just search in your browser for interactive Cricut okay. guide. And then you wafted and then, it. Yeah, I'm just cooling it down slightly. So this is what's called a warm peel vinyl. Okay. Some of them are cold peel, where you need to wait for it to be completely cool. This is warm peel. And when it says warm peel, it means warm, not hot. Okay. So <laughs> when this is first finished, it is hot. So be careful. But now it's cooled down. You can see what I'm doing is I'm just bending that surface layer, that protective um, plastic, all the way back 180 degrees and I'm kind of rolling it back with my fingers. Now I'm going to say because it always gives me the opportunity to say go low and slow. <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah that's the way to do it and if it's extremely rare but if you notice say I got to this little apostrophe yes. and it had not quite stuck I can always just fold this back down and press it again for a few Perfect. seconds but if you've done it correctly then the easy press will not let you down and it will work perfectly Wonderful. first time and this project now that you've actually added this lettering are we able to wash it is it okay to you do that? are indeed yep you are definitely um, so it's good to pre-wash all of your projects first before you add it on just because in case there's any chemicals in it good which point, yes, sometimes yeah. they add particularly to clothes well, to make them a bit brighter well, you don't very know, good you? point yeah, yeah of course um, but after that, once this has been applied, then, yep, you can wash this. I've had T-shirts. I mean, this T-shirt's been through the wash a couple of times, but I've had T-shirts I've washed loads. I wear, like, just yeah. around the house, yeah. just day in, day out, and, yeah, they're still as good as new. Look at that. So there we How go. How amazing is that? That's fabulous. Thank you, Mike. Thoroughly yeah, enjoyed that good. demonstration. <laughs> um, and it just shows you what you can be doing. When you get your maker, it just gives you so much versatility. You can be creating all sorts. But it's having the right tools that is key. And that's what you're getting with the Easy Press. Now, this is the bundle that Cricut have put together for us. Now, whenever we get um, Cricut shows, the stock that we've got, we don't keep the stock on the website for long. So make sure if you are looking at getting hold of this, you're doing it within 24 hours. Because you may well find a note of that number in your, your little notepad and come back to order it in a week's time. And we won't have them available you need to be placing your orders for this within the next 24 hours each time they come they bring us different deals different ideas but on this occasion I think you've got a fabulous deal there you're saving 70 pounds and of course six pounds and 97 pence an additional 697 if you're already a freedom member and you're quoting freedom frenzy so if you're wanting yours you can see three flexi buys there for everything that you're seeing there um, and of course we have got the smaller version as well which we did see earlier on so if you do want the smaller version this one again has got a fabulous little bundle there you've got 23 pound saving again before any freedom frenzies um, and again you've got the ability to spread the cost but it's not just a little tiny easy press there which I say tiny I mean it's substantial for what you're needing you're also getting the little mat and you're getting loads of vinyl as well and then of course you've got your maker and your couple of different opportunities whether you're going for the bumper bundle or whether you're going for the maker by itself the big bundle is brilliant because in addition to the regular package that you're getting with your two 12 by 12 mats you're getting the additional 24 by 12 mat and then you are getting the additional fabrics you're getting your felt in the the tools, the rotary cutter and those incredible pens there that are going to wash away. So I love the idea of doing your embroidery with that one. Really nice bundle. Again, um, substantial, uh, obviously, investment of anybody's money. Um, so do, um, obviously, make a decision with this one. But again, it is a case of 24 hours on our website for you to get hold of that. Now, the what we've got here.